Good morning, Cosmo. Good morning, Jane. morning we've come to Tuscan Grill which is just down the hall from our room to have a little captain's club breakfast nothing hot on the menu just uh, some pastries fruits bagels things like that and bellinis and mimosas <laughs> cheers so we ended up ordering a plate it's supposed to be for one person but we're gonna share it and a couple of bagels cream cheese and some jam it looks really good Anyway, here's to a good day in Cozumel. Let's see what we get up to. Just had to run upstairs to get some water. We're going out to Cozumel. We're going to try to hit a beach. We may go down to Plana Playa Car. Playa Plana Car. Plana Playa Car. Playa Plana Car. But it's quite far down, so we'll see how much the taxi is. Oh, that's one. There she is. Here, honey. Let's go. Hey, the Apex. We're on that. We're on that. We're on this. We never know what exactly we're doing until we do it. But we'll head towards the beach. Hey, back. And there's the Carnival Paradise. Did you know the Paradise used to be non smoking, used to be a big non smoking symbol? embraced on its hull at the very front. And even though it sailed at 110% capacity all the time, I don't think they were making money in the casino because it seems like, and nothing personal towards smokers, but smokers seem to gamble more than non-smokers. At least that's what Carnival thought. And it's got the new livery on it. So I'm assuming they're gonna keep this ship. It was the second last ship made in the fantasy class. The last one was the Elation, and then before the Elation was the Paradise. And they must be keeping it because they painted it. Anyway. That's my uh, fun facts in history from Phil C at Sea. And off we go, Cosmel. You know the way out. You've seen it in my other videos. Check out these two videos if you want to find the way out, the port of Cosmel. So we have a carnival ship, which I can't see, Carnival Paradise, Celebrity Apex, Celebrity Summit, Mine Shift 2, I believe, down there from Germany. It looks like the Constellation is floating in, which means it's going to be in the downtown port which means we get the better port today. Yay yeah, us. Margarita. This is new. Tequila a go-go, Cozumel. Good vibes. Oh, that's new. This whole area I think is new. Last time we walked back here it was closed off. Cause they're senior frogs. That's where I got my tequila last time, my $80 tequila. Not sure it was worth it. I'm actually pretty sure it wasn't worth it. Don't go there. Or go there and figure it out yourself. The deal is not sponsored by them. And we're going to the taxi stands. Taxi stands and the prices are on this board over here. So we're trying something a little different. The taxi lady, doctors in San Francisco. We have a $20 reservation per person and $50 cab ride. But, I have but, but I'm not 100% sure it's where we want to go, but it's very close to Paradise. I think I might go to the entrance, scope it out, 
and if I don't like it, move on. I'm not paying $20 just to get on a beach. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens when we get there. Unfortunately, I didn't turn on my data, so I couldn't check out the, the beach club first. So the cab driver has told me that he will wait for me while I go check it out. It sounds good. Change of plans. We are heading to Playa Plavacar, the furthest beach you can go to. It's a $25 cab ride. I stopped in at uh, San Francisco Beach. I thought it was a little too condensed and crowded. A lot of the uh, beach toys are in the water there. There's no real open space. $20 admission, I wasn't sure what it got you except for the chairs. And the food and beverage prices were anywhere between $4 for a beer and $9 for a mixed drink. So at the end of the day, it might be more beneficial to buy an all-inclusive package at one of the nicer clubs. Or try what we're going to try. No entrance fee to play a planet car. But uh, we'll find out what it's like. Have to go. They said it was only 7 kilometers down the road. So interesting entrance. That yeah, wasn't far at all. It's a long road. Oh, this looks cool. This is pretty. Okay, we have settled here at Playa Planet Car. It was a $25 ride. We stopped at uh, San Francisco Beach. Uh, I wasn't overly impressed by it. So it was $15 to San Francisco. I asked the driver, he said he'd take us here. Very nice. He said he would come here. The beach is absolutely gorgeous. It's really a nice beach. Beautiful loungers you can get here. And it's all spread out. Uh, so we've settled. We're gonna try to enjoy this day. I think that's not gonna be too hard. And. Uh, Give you a shot of what we got set up here. So we got ourselves a bucket of beer. It was four dollars a beer. Doesn't matter how many you get in a bucket. The server was very nice. Got a good size menu. Normal pricing. We got the umbrella and the two chairs for twelve dollars, and it's a la carte for the uh, menu. But you don't pay to get in the place, right? Twelve dollars all in. Yeah, twelve dollars. Two chairs, two loungers with padding, and an umbrella. And spacing. Look at it, it's all spaced out and it's just gorgeous down here. Anyway, well, I'll tell you what it's like later, but so far, so good. Here's a pro tip don't order the nachos with cheese. Some people might like it. Not to our taste, anyway. I think we found a little piece of paradise in Cosmel that we haven't discovered before. And so far, it's not costing us too much. So that's always a good thing. But I'm going shopping later, so. No, she's not going shopping. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to win this battle. <laughs> Car payment is 500 Mexican pesos, which is, I'm not sure how much that is. I guess it's this much, put that below. Get some shots back here. Very rustic. Very cool in here. Snorkeling and diving trips can be arranged. back down here to the main entrance. Looks like scooter rental or maybe parking over there. 
No life cards. No food or drink allowed in this area. Looks like the bathrooms and showers over there. This is the front entrance. Do snorkel tours. 12 dollars US to rent the lounger and the chairs and the umbrella, which is an excellent price. Do not feed the animals, haven't seen any. This is the restaurant area. Nicely shaved, nice and cool in here. This says no smoking, so that's good. It's very clean, no garbage anywhere. More restaurant seating. Lots of signage. Garbage cans around. It's good. No pools. There was a massage service they provided uh, for a price, of course. I think they said a couple's massage for 60 minutes was $60 each. So $120 for a couple for an hour-long massage. There's the massage beds back there. It's not very busy here, which is nice. I mean, it's there's people, but it's not overcrowded. Definitely could fit more people in here, but even if it was full, I don't think it would be full because everything's spaced apart so nicely. Definitely a hidden secret of Cozumel, for me anyway. I think it was here years ago when there was nothing here. Again, I keep showing my age, don't I? By saying years ago. Let's go to the end. Not sure what that structure is. If that's somebody's house, they got a nice view. I don't know, people. This is a really nice beach. Now, there is a little bit of shell action as you walk in, but for about 10 or 12 feet, and after that, it's sand. And even we see those people are standing. They're standing, probably. They still touch bottom there. We went on a long way. Oh, like that guy over there. He's standing straight up. Nice and shallow. Very safe for the kitties. Okay, I walked all the way to the point. I can't see around the point, but around the point, the uh, cab driver said it was seven kilometers from San Francisco Beach to here. And it wasn't a very long drive. And it cost $15 to go to San Francisco Beach, and it was $25 to come here. And I think it's 17 to go to Paradise. And Nachika Kolm is around the same price, so. We're all within the same region, basically. This is the furthest beach. Taking a look down the beach from this point, you can see it's a long white sand beach. And the Planetar Reef, I believe, is way out there where those boats are, and I believe it stretches all the way through Playa de Carmen and here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the longest, largest coral reefs in the world next to the Great Barrier Reef. So overall impressions of this place, for the extra money cost in cab rides, for the $12 it cost for two chairs, two lounges with pads and umbrella, and for the extensive menu they have, and the pricing is excellent. Uh, it's quiet. There's a little bit of music playing at one end, but it's appropriate music. It's Mexican music, uh, island music. It feels good down here. Great if you want to go snorkeling, very close to the reefs. If you want to go out there by boat. Overall, excellent, excellent, excellent. Beautiful, unexpected day here at Playa Planicar. To keep remembering, Playa Planicar and the Planicar Reef. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Did I say it was beautiful? It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday.
Heading back to the ship. Back to the bus. Back to the boat. It's a good day at Playa, uh, where are we? Playa Conchal. No, where were we? <laughs> we don't remember where we were. Where were we? Where were we? Not Playa Conchal, is it? Playa Play Planicar. Yeah. As in the Planicar Reef, that's right. It's good. Do not use the bathrooms there. All right, only use them in case of emergency. They weren't that nice. Or the shower facilities is outside. It wasn't that nice. But beautiful beach. Highly recommended for the beach alone. Oh. Apex is pulling in the lines. Must be leaving. So as we were pulling up the pier, walking the pier, they asked, what ship are you? They said, oh, the summit. And they go, not, not to Apex. And it was that person right there asking us that question. And he's escorting that lady to the Apex gangway. And if you look at the Apex gangway, while the officers are waiting, she must be the last one. And it's past 3.30. I'm not sure what time they were supposed to be on board, but it's either, the shoe's either half an hour late or five minutes late. And they look like they might be waiting for more. Thank you very much. Oh, the best thing ever, cool towel. Put it on top of your head like this. That always works. Back in the boat. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell you'll be notified of future videos. Share with somebody you like, and don't forget, stay safe and be nice to each other.